Hello, how are you today? I am going to show you today how I, I'm starting another wedding box. And I looked all over, this is pretty big, let me show you. These boxes came in, there's five stackable at Joan Crafts. And they didn't have them until just one day I walked in and they had them this big. This is a 14 inch, and then I think there was a 12 inch. Those are the only two sizes that I'd make for a wedding box, and then there's three other sizes that go down to a six inch. Those are way too small, I'll have to use them for something else. But I had a 40% off coupon, they were $19.99 and then 40% off, so I got them for $11.99. So it was great. This is a nice big box I can make for a wedding box. Paper mache. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do because I couldn't find them locally and I couldn't really find them online big like this. And I was going to get at Joanne Crafts a wooden box, which would have been nice. Um, probably about five inches tall, pretty big size. And it was $23 or $26. And if you had your coupon. And then I found them on Amazon, the same thing. I wish I could remember the brand name. It's a very popular brand name for all the wood products. Um, they're $16.97. I'll try to put a link in case you want a wooden one. Um, uh, below for Amazon. They were $16.97 plus free shipping. And I was going to get those. But then I found these. These are a little bit bigger, which I like. So, John Crafts, a little bit bigger. You get two of them that are probably good for uh, wedding boxes. And how I start, I have these lids right here. You can use any lids off jars. Just save the lids. And it keeps, it keeps this off the table to where you're not getting stuck. And how you you want to always seal paper mache. Uh, so I'll show you how I do the lid. And there's no prep other than uh, sealing it. And you're going to take a sealer, and I'm using Delta Cream Coat All Purpose Sealer. And you just take, put some out here. Now you you can, I'll show you both ways. Uh, let's see if I can get this out of here. It's almost to the end. You can take, I probably need a little bit more than that. Let me check. I know I have more white paint than you do because I buy these great big bottles at Joan Crafts with my 40% off coupon. Okay, so you can do both ways. You can just mix it half and half just on the first coat. You only want the sealer, it's fine. Just the first coat is enough. So dab on your paper towel and take some of, I'll do the inside, take some of your sealer and just go over it. You can dry it with a hair dryer. It will start bubbling if it gets too wet. So you don't want to saturate it. Dry it with a hair dryer if you see it start bubbling. Sometimes you can't help it, it just does it. It's paper mache. So, and when these are all done, they're sturdy as it is, but they're pretty sturdy. So, just go over it, let it dry, do a sections at a time. That's, but just make sure the whole thing is sealed. On the edges. And I will show you. I need some more sealer out here. The sealer goes a long ways. I've had that sealer for a long time. Okay, I'm almost done with this part. Paper mache is pretty easy to paint on. I haven't decided what I'm going to put on this. I'm going to a wedding in Yellowstone. It's about seven hours from my house. So I'm kind of excited. Like, yay, Yellowstone. So this is going to be the box that I'm making. Now, if you want to... Uh, okay, so the inside of this is done. I don't want to tip it over yet because it's still wet. So... I'm just kind of go like this around the edge to get the edge because you really want to make sure it's all sealed. Okay, I'm just going to show you the bottom on this one. I'm going to get this tag off. 
Ah, okay, we'll do, we'll just do the bottom inside here. Okay, so I have my sealer, and I'm going to put a good amount. And you just want to have it in your brush, or you can mix it if you don't feel comfortable doing it this way. You just want to make sure you have some in the brush and pick up some of your base coat. And you only have to do this on your first coat, like I said. And just, it's going to take about four coats, depending on what color you're doing it. I'm doing it white first because I, I haven't decided what I'm going to put on it. So I just want to get it sealed. And this will get it nice and sealed. And by doing it this way, it saves on one of your coats instead of doing the sealer and then doing the base coat. I think I'm putting some kind of roses on here. It goes pretty fast. You can do this with a sponge too if you wanted. So I'm almost done with this little part. I'm going to show you this part. Then I'll show you my newest project that I'm doing. I think it, I got it out of Paintworks. This month's Paintworks. And I'm working on it. Some impression, impressionistic roses and some bluebirds. Okay. That is, that's good right there. Okay, so just let that dry and then do the sides. Or if I'd keep on going if I wasn't doing the video. So I'll put my paintbrush in the water just for a second and I just want to show you what I'm working on and then I'll let you be on your merry way. Uh, this is a box and it's in this month's of Paintworks and that's what I'm painting, a box for myself. I love it. It's kind of watercolory. I do watercolor too. Um, if this is not done, you still need to put some more layers on it. But I do watercolor and a little bit of everything. Okay, so I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.